All right, Ron. Uh, Jerron Ennis defeats uh, Kareem. I, I had it. Chud. Ch- 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 I, 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 I swore I had it, but. Yeah, I still don't know. All right. Um, sorry, sorry, Kareem. Um, 12 round decision. It's mm-hmm. the first time Jerron has ever been past six rounds. Mm-hmm. This is the third decision of his career. What did you see? I saw the excitement, you know what I mean? I think I think Boost was going for it early, but I also saw smart movement by Karen. Like in the beginning, he was moving smart. He was moving very smart. He was uh, a little bit better defensively than I thought he was, but I also saw as he started to fill Boost, you know, once Boost closed the distance and he actually started to fill Boost's power, it became like now it's it's not so much smart boxing. It was like running. You know what I mean? Like, and the, I think that was the game plan all along. I don't think they came in with the game plan to win the fight. It was more so let's survive and see if we could pick an opening, see if we could find a spot to, you know, throw a few punches head, counter boots here and there. And it didn't work, but that was the game plan, I think. Now, the internet is on fire right now. Right. And the narrative that's being pushed is, See, I told you he's not elite. He doesn't right. belong in there with Crawford. He doesn't belong in there with Spence. Right. They would do this to him. They would do that to him. Right. Now, this is you know, about where he won 12 rounds right. on everybody's scorecards. Correct. What do you make of that? Some guys, it's hard to look good against. You know what I mean? Like It's hard to hit someone that's, that's not trying to, not so much not get hit, but they're not even trying to fight back. Like It's hard to, to chase somebody around like that and still – be sharp defensively, you know what I mean? Because that's a tactic. You want me to chase you with my hands down or just be, you know, th- throwing reckless shots and get caught with something. A smart fighter is not going to fall for that. So it's hard to stay, you know, stay in your defensive responsible mindset and get a guy like that. It's uh, like I said before, I said, yo, these, a guy like that is like in basketball. You ever play somebody that's really not that talented but their defense is awkward. Like, I know I can get past this guy, but he's, like, so awkward. It's hard for me to get by him. Yes. It's hard for me to look good against a guy with awkward defense. Like, he's playing up so close to me, like, what is his chin on my shoulder type defense? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's hard for me to get off on him. And I think this guy, Karen, was just an awkward style. But he's not a, a bad fighter. I think he earned another fight in the U.S. at 47. He's not a bad fighter. All right, so now Boots is the IBF interim, which makes him officially Earl Spence's mandatory. Mm-hmm. And is with the backlash in in a twelve round sweep, <laughs> it, is he likely now to get those fights because he may not look superhuman or look like an invincible monster to the public? Yeah, I think he gets. That and more. Like, I think everybody will be claiming for him now because it's like, all right, he's human. You know what I mean? Like, mm. that's 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 what the narrative would be. Okay, yeah, he's human. I, I've read some people say his power wasn't there tonight. Uh, that's, yeah, I think he gets the names now because, you know, they, it's chinks in his armor. He's got flaws. He ain't ready for them big dogs yet. So now he gets them. Is, is the visible frustration that from uh, Karen's movement, is this going to be a teachable moment for uh, for Bozy Ennis to maybe fine tune some things to Jerron Ennis? Uh, I mean, you're gonna make adjustments. One, no matter how the fight go, you're gonna make adjustments. Mm-hmm. He won every round, and he's still gonna make adjustments. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, this is not a necessarily a bad thing to go 12 rounds. Like, you need to see what you can do better. Sometimes, mm-hmm. like that Clayton fight, what can you take from that? You know what I mean? Two rounds with another guy that didn't want to engage, but he was able to catch him. Karen, he couldn't catch Karen. He caught him with some good shots, but Karen was a, a he was sturdy. Like he was a little bit more sturdier than I thought. You know what I mean? But that's how it is when you never seen these guys from overseas. You never saw him. So he's definitely gonna make adjustments. Like I, I think this was almost a bad thing that could have happened. Because now you're going to make him get in the lab and mix up something better. What does it say that this kind of criticism is coming from a wide unanimous decision, a 12-round unanimous decision? What does it say about those expectations? When you're at that level, like, you're never going to please them. Like, at that level, what 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 do you want? 
You know what I mean? I can't knock a guy out that's running around. What What do you want? Some people say, oh, he didn't make adjustments. He actually did make adjustments. He started closing in, you know, going to the body more later in the fight. He hurt him later in the fight to the body. It just it just depends how people look at it. Like, it's, it's one of them things, like, you got to really, like, you can't just look at it like, okay, because he didn't knock him out, it's a bad night. You just say he's swept on the cards. Barely got touched, showed that he can go the distance, showed that he's got defense. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's more than just power with him. He can box. He can cut the ring off. It's a lot of things you saw tonight that were good, and it's a lot of things that you saw that he can improve on. But what do we? What do you take negative about a, a sweep? What do you take negative about a sweep? Like you, like I'm, I'm confused here. But I get it. The expectations is he's the boogeyman, so you expected this guy that we never heard of to get wiped out. Is so that is that like more it. what it has to do with? It because people were unfamiliar with Kareem. Um. No, because not too many people was familiar with Clayton either. You know what I mean? We only really knew him because of the Lippinets fight. Mm. So, no, I don't think it had any. Yeah, it, it doesn't help that. It helps their argument that, oh, he went the distance with a nobody. You know what I mean? Mm. But that's, again, at that level, you're going to always have something said about you, and they're never going to be satisfied. If he knocked him out in the third, they would have said, oh, it took him three rounds. Like, it's always going to be something said when you on that level.